hundred and sixty six days that's how many days it's been since a new england patriots regular season victory but the long wait the long suffering wait is finally over the winless patriots are winless no more as today they went into the meadowlands and did Just enough to beat Zach Wilson and the New York Jets 15 to 10. It's not called the Meadowlands anymore, is it? I don't care. It's not even New York. We all know that. Yes, the last time the Patriots won a regular season football match was against the Miami Dolphins and Mr. Teddy Bridgewater. Mac threw for 200 yards and two touchdowns. Today, Mac threw for 200 yards and one touchdown. It was a tale of, I feel like, two halves. One where you felt like they were in supreme control to the point where it didn't even matter that the offense was not really gelling. The, the, the Jets have a real defense. It just felt like, well, all we have to do is roll out the defense and not worry about it. And in turn, that's kind of how it, it turned out. The Patriots scored three points in the first quarter, a touchdown in the second quarter, with a great play by a guy that everyone said, wait, who? That guy? Farrell Brown? They just signed him? A, a, a field goal in the third quarter and a safety in the fourth quarter. That is it. That is the total of scoring. And they needed just about every point and every inch because even with all of that, even with the ineptitude of the Jets' offense, and really the the amount uh, the the defense I feel really good about the Patriots' defense. I cannot. How, how can you feel bad? They gave up ten points to a bad team. Yes, it came to a, a a a hail mary, and it seemed like it was inches away from them losing this game. But that's I don't put that on the defense. I put that on the offense, given opportunity after opportunity to either seal a game or steal a game and they haven't been able to do it now the first week the pats were marching down the field but they couldn't do enough to beat the eagles the defense looked really good against the eagles another week kind of the same thing the defense looked really good against miami miami they put up 70 points today the defense looked quite good against them uh but the offense couldn't finish the job. Today, the Jets were so bad that the Patriots actually had a lead, a 10-point lead, that they, the offense could not uh, hold on to. Well, I mean, I guess they could, but they could not um, increase. At one point, I'm thinking it's 13-3. to three. Put a touchdown down, get to 20, call it a day and just let the de- let the defense do their thing. And yet it felt like every chance the offense got to try to just give the, the defense some breathing room, it didn't really work out. Mac Jones in the first quarter, first half was, was okay. He was flinging it here and there. There were points where you feel like things are coming together. In the second half, there was just none of that. I don't know if it's play calling. I don't know if it's, players i don't know what there was just some some bad like fourth down call some long third down there was some overthrows 
There wa- it wasn't a lot of good things. The greatest play of the game was a beautiful play where they ignored this third tight end, and hopefully this tight end, uh, Farrell Brown, he actually made another catch out in the open, made, broke a tackle, looked good. They might need him because I don't know what's going on with Hunter Henry. I know he looked a little busted up. He came off the uh, the field at one point. Uh, but they did everything they could to try to give the Jets a chance, like to give Zach Wilson a chance. Thankfully, it's Zach Wilson. You know, we, we, had, uh, we had the big CBS broadcasting crew of uh, Tony Romo and uh, uh, what's-his-face there. And um, the reason we had them, you think, why are we having them for, for, for this game? The reason we had them is because it was supposed to be Aaron Rodgers against the Patriots. And that, of course, Aaron Rodgers made everything a marquee. And I don't know how the defense would have been against Rodgers because this defense feels legit. But I'm glad it was against Zach Wilson. What I don't understand is, and there are a lot of good things that that got out of this. Number one, the Patriots won. That's the most important thing at all. You know, weeks from now, doesn't matter how they won. It's a win. And a win puts you in 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 the positive side and you start, maybe you can start building off that. You got the Cowboys this week, but we saw what the Cowboys, what happened to them today. They lost to the freaking uh, uh, Cardinals. And I can't even say Cardinals right. They lost to the Cardinals like I'm from Chicago. Uh, But you never know what's going to happen. You never know what confidence gets built from winning. Just putting a win in your uh, ledger. I don't know what I'm talking about. But the that's good. Beating the Jets, always good. 15 in a row. Yep, like you thought this was the year for the Jets, but the Jets had to outjet themselves. I love seeing, I, I because I hate the Jets, and I love their helmets. I love the green. I'm a big fan of green. I love the green shimmer of their helmets. I'm just going to say it. I love their helmets. I would never want one. I'm not a Jets fan. I hate them, but I like the color. I like the, the, the shine. Um, I I liked seeing them lose. I liked seeing them have fights on the sideline, imploding. That was fun. What I don't understand is what Robert Sala is doing with Zach Wilson. You want to stand by him for how long? Like, how long until you say, this isn't working? Like, the funny thing is, is he was your answer until Aaron Rodgers fell in your lap. And then he fell out of your lap. And you're like, well, I guess he's my answer. Like, I I think, didn't they bench him last year? Like, I don't know what they see in him. And Tony Romo was like, ta- they were talking him up so much. Like, he feels so confident out there. I, I th- finally, um, what's his name? I honestly, I can't remember his name. Uh, he was like, I don't see it. But they were talking him up so much. They were like, they were talking him up almost as as, as bad as, as Ben Volan. If you don't know who Ben Volan is, he's a Cretan who writes for the Boston Globe for some reason. And he tweeted out at 4 o'clock, Jets down 15-10, get the ball to the room 45 line. Yard line with 143 to go. Go be a hero, Zach Wilson. The Boston paper, owned, of course, by the Red Sox owner, uh, it, it, it pays this guy to root for the other team. Like, I don't, I, I mean, first of all, local media sucks anyway. And um, he is just the worst of the worst. Like, it is, who whoever follows this Cretan, you, I feel bad for you. Like, you deserve to not, to you should unfollow him and you realize your life's a little better. Uh, so, anyway, Ben Volan sucks. Everyone knows that. Um, but, obviously, seeing the Jets lose, seeing the Patriots win. Zeke had 80 yards on the day. He looked pretty good. There were some moments. Uh, and, again, the defense. They didn't have any turnovers. I can't believe Zach Wilson, Mr. INT, didn't throw any. And I tweeted, I, mess- I, I texted a group about this is time for an INT like an absolute idiot um, because... I, uh, I, I'm an idiot. And I feel like I, I, oh no, I'm the one who, uh, who jinx them. But I'm like, they can't hear me. It's not real. Shut up, everybody. Uh, but what else was good? Uh, what else was good? The defense, the kicker. You know, they tried a couple long ones. Uh, you know, at least he had some success. Christian Gonzalez. Oh my God! Very excited about uh, his play. Uh, he he's been shutting guys down. So I'm. That has been a hit so far. Uh, and so I'm just, 
I'm happy they won. I'm happy that, you know, last week you heard from me. I was like this. I was like, I'm dying. Feel a lot better. Today was the first day I felt normal uh, where I could just yell at the screen, uh, 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 you know, being annoyed at the game as usual. Um, I'm not sure what else to say. The offense still a work in progress. The defense quite happy. I uh, can't really complain. You know, they, they put it, they, they gave up 10 points, 10 points. And they actually scored. They actually scored two points too. So think about it. They like, what is it? They, they netted eight points. Really? When you think about it, uh, I, I, I can't be, I can't say a bad thing about the defense. Yes. At some point, they they start getting tired, and they because the offense just kept letting them get on the field over and over and over. So we just got to improve the offense, stand pat on the defense. I don't know what else to say. I don't know. I don't know. I see Juju out there for a second. He's there. He's gone. I see Bourne for a second. He's there. I see Gasecki for a second. He's there. He's gone. I see Farrell Brown all of a sudden. Um, but there were some drops. Ramonde had a big play that he dropped. Uh, there were just there were little things that could have that. That can be improved upon. That can be corrected. Um, it's you know, but it's still. It's not like oh god, the offense put up thirty points and the defense can't do anything. Now I'm saying defense. Uh, it's it's the exact opposite. The defense is doing everything they can to to deliver these games to you. And you got to put. Uh, you gotta you gotta close this shit out. And um, you are like. You're you're a play or two away from being zero and three, and a play or two away from being two and one or three and zero. That's 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 the nature of the game, and it just shows that anything can happen, and you can uh, put something together. You can you can show up. You can start things can start clicking, and uh, you know they, they could go on a, a run, or they couldn't. I don't know. I'm just a positive Patriots fan who hopes for the best. And now I'm done. Uh, today is September 24th. I'm just going to throw this out there. It means nothing to anybody but me. Today is 30 years with my wife uh, since our first date. I, I was We were not married when I was in high school. We started dating when I was in high school. Today marks 30 years of that. So, uh, baby, this podcast is dedicated to you. She is not listening. She's in the other room. She doesn't give a shit. She's happy the Patriots won. She had them on, but she's not going to listen to the podcast. I mean, you guys are barely listening to this podcast, but you are because you heard this. Ha ha. See, I tricked you. All right, that's it, my friends. Um, next week, the Pats go into uh, into Jimmy Land, right? Into Dallas. Four twenty five game. It's October, the beginning of spooky season. Hopefully, I can uh, get out of the house next week and go see the game at my buddy's house. I think I'm going to get sushi pizza from this restaurant. We'll see. We'll see. Might be shit, but it's a good sushi restaurant. So it'll be interesting to see what they call sushi pizza i'll report back on that next week until then patriots win the patriots win 15 to 10 over the jets ben bolin sucks and go pass that's not experts